Alrighty, y'all. Miss Perhaps back with update two of four and a half day snake juice fast. Um, prior to me coming on here, I did upload my refeed food for today, 12 1 after a four and a half day fast. Okay, so during this fast, I felt better. Week two was not as bad as week one. Um, I even went to the darn grocery store um, it was yesterday morning. I was afraid of that if it was going to trigger me to break my fast, but it did not. I inhaled the food as if I was eating it and I was just fine. So it didn't bother me at all. Um, what I noticed this go around week two of the snake juice fast is the last two and a half days. I really didn't eat the snake juice that much. The last two and a half days I mainly just been drinking fresh water and the apple cider uh, vinegar with the lemon juice that's it I've been getting through um, was I hungry a couple times yes was I starving no but I did have some hungry moments um, so I made it through what I did notice is during this fast, after I came off of the seven day fast, the next day I went on a 72 hour fast. Day one, I jacked up, I ate, even though I ate clean and a little. That following day, after the failed day one snake juice fast, the scale went up four pounds. So, you know what? I was disappointed by that, but I did hop right back into the four and a half day fast, which takes, takes me um, to this video. Um, I'm realizing I don't need as much snake juice. So what I'm gonna do is like, I'm gonna keep, like I go to work tomorrow, I'm gonna keep drinking the fresh water. I'm gonna add in the uh, apple cider vinegar with the lemon tea and water throughout this next fast, which I, I'm doing four days. So I'll be fasting to Friday, which is 12, six. Yeah, I'll be fasting to Friday to 12, six, starting today at nine o'clock. Um, I wanted to show you guys the food, but I'm like, you know what, I didn't, I, it just wasn't going to work out. I mean, I had to eat that food throughout the day, but I did upload the video showing all of the foods that I ate today. Um, so I'm looking forward to what the scale is going to show Friday. So moving forward, I intend on doing four and five snake juice fasts having clean refeeds until I get close to my goal weight then I'll be doing three days but the ultimate goal is two days but something I did learn learn which is true what Cole said is that you should never eat two days in a row so after I did that snake juice fast the next day when I should have been fasting I ate that scale went up four pounds so it is some truth to that do not eat two days in a row um, and make sure those uh, refeeds are clean so I'm doing okay. I mean, I'm hanging in there. Um, where I'm getting the strength from, I don't know. But I'm determined this time to get it right. And I'm realizing the more and more I fast, so far, it's just week two now. Don't quote me on this. That is, it's, 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 it's getting a little bit easier. And I'm able to, you know, avoid those temptations. So this is my update of my last snake juice fast, snake juice fast that i just did um i'm gonna get y'all my weight stats i'm gonna get out of here and then outside of that i'll see you guys friday hopefully y'all fasting journey is going okay because hey this is eat this this is tough this is hey this fasting ain't no joke but just just stick it through trust the process um and we're gonna be okay we can't just be throwing in the towel when to get a little hard and we get hungry because that week one Seven day fast was not, hey, you gotta be strong. It was not for the fainted heart. So, I'm gonna give y'all my weight stats really quick. So, I started on 1119 at 235.8. After the seven day snake juice fa fast pre refeed, I was 218.0. After I ate, I went up to 218.8. So, it just went up 0.8 post refeed. Then I, the next day after that seven day fast and that, um, refeed, um, the scale was 217.4. So actually my weight went down, but I failed that first day, 72 hour snake juice fast. So the next day the scale went up to 221.4. 
I don't know why it went up four plus four on the scale, but even though the, the little food I did eat when the scale went up was clean, I think it probably has something to do with eating two days in a row. So I don't intend on doing that again. So the scale went up at 221.4. So then I hopped into, like now, the four and a half day fast. Um, my pre-refeed this morning after four and a, five, four and a half days was um, 217.0. Um, and I don't know what my post refeed is going to be after this four and a half day fast. I'll, I'll, I'll get on the scale tomorrow. To me, it's pointless to weigh yourself the same day you refeed because, of course, the scale is going to go up. So I'm going to see what the scale shows tomorrow, the next day. And that'll let me know if something I ate in my refeed, I need to eliminate. It'll be a process of elimination. So that's where I'm at. So I plan on sticking this thing through. I'm hoping I can lose at least 30 pounds by New Year's, 30, 35 pounds by New Year's. I'm finding that my cravings for carbs and sugar isn't as bad as it was as week one. So I'm really, really starting to adapt to the style of eating healthy. So let's see where this road takes me. I'm still in the game. I'm not quitting. Hopefully y'all don't quit either. We just going to trust this process and see where we end up. So that's my uh, update. I'll see you guys Friday, and when I see you Friday, um, I'll show you my refeed food, and I'll let you know what the scale shows Friday. Until then, I'm sending y'all happy, positive, fasting vibes, because I know y'all need them, because this fasting ain't for the faint at heart. It ain't, hey, it ain't easy. It ain't easy, but we got to get it done. So hopefully y'all doing well on y'all fasting and staying the course. And if you jack up, that's okay. Let's just start over. Just We just not going to quit. And right now we just team, make it happen. Team, get it done. Team, no excuses. So with that being said, y'all have a good night. Thanks for listening. And I'll give you guys update number three, which will be week three of the Snake Juice Fast on Friday, 12-6. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.